Yeah, that's too much. Another one. Let's see. Uh, another Porsche environment. No, I'm waiting for Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Oh, we are uh, trying to get to the food. Let me ask her. Yeah, Kessin. Yeah? Yeah, it's still here. I like the gold. Uh, you like the fire? Yeah? The parties. Uh, the parties yeah. wild, right? Uh, we're going to head to the night break. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Neighborhood Talk. Guess what? I am? I'm in Kensington. I'm meeting one of the biggest African YouTubers. Her uh, name is Lynn. People know her by African Tigress. Guys, we're going to explore this expensive area of London. Kensington. That's what we're going to explore. So what we're going to show you guys like how much the houses are. These houses can be ranged from 1.5 million to 23 million. Guys, you guys will watch some of my videos from the channel. So we're going to explore Kensington and then uh, we'll head to um, a night bridge. Then from there, then we wrap up the video in one of the most unique neighborhoods, the Graveyard Chelsea, guys. I can't wait to show you guys this amazing content. So I'm, I'm at the moment, I'm waiting for African Tigress. She's in a taxi right now, heading to Kensington. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. While you're watching the video, please consider liking the video and subscribing as well. Let's get in, let's go meet her. <laughs> oh my god, let's go meet her. The queen of vlogging. I'm here. <laughs> the queen of vlogging is here. <laughs> Welcome Hello. to London. Welcome Thank to the you. best city in the world. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> How are you? So guys, as I was telling you guys, I just met one of the most big, I mean, one of the most unique creators from Africa. Like, guess who is here with me? The one and only. The one and only <laughs> African Tigress. Can you believe that? We just left the Kensington High Street. Now she's going to show you guys how amazing this neighborhood is. Guys. Oh yeah, I'm so much interested in seeing, like, you know, every country I've gone to, I always love to go and see, you know, where those people who have money have. <laughs> money? So let me go and see. It's, it's also a way of, you know, it's manifesting and being like, this place I'm showing you on camera one yeah. day. I'll be owning property. You, you never know. know. Property. Like, you I'll never know. The whole street. You never know. You have to manifest. Oh, I'll give you some. Yeah, let's let's start from here, then go and then you know there. Okay, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so okay. guys, I just want to show you guys something. So this building you can see behind us here, that used to be the head office of the Daily Mail. Uh, if you guys are from the UK, you know what Daily Mail is. Uh, Daily Mail is like one of the biggest newspaper companies in the country, and uh, one of the famous journalists like. Piers Morgan used to work in this building. This one? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Did you have to build around that? Yeah, I think we Africans, I think we should start considering, you know, like owning a property in too much land. You know, the world is growing fast. Oh, yeah. It's the embassy of Netherlands, actually. Okay, yeah. Netherlands, yeah. So imagine, right? Mm -hmm. The population is growing so fast. Yeah. So imagine Accra now is populated. Nobody wants to live in Accra yeah. because there's no land. Imagine 10 years ago, right? If developers were building apartments, there could be more people could be living in Accra at the moment. Imagine if you go to where, like Accra, uh, Jowolo, East Legon. Yeah. People have houses with big land. Imagine if those were expensive apartments like here. Wow. That saves a lot of land, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know. I think the mindset, the I, mindset I, I, is like different. I'm, yeah. Like I'm just trying to. I don't know, like apartments. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> what, what What's your preference? Big mansion? In my with... own compound. Yeah. On swimming pool. Yeah. Yeah. But on a one acre land or just a half acre if land? Possible on um, hundred acre land. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to live like the Zulu king? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so guys just in front of me that's the Kessington Garden. Oh that one? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. You wanna see the statue? Which statue? There's a statue in the middle there. Statue of what? Right there, somewhere there. Wow. 
So yeah, so guys, uh, we now uh, finish uh, this beautiful street. We're still in a SW7. You know, the postcode is where determine how much your house is. So uh, we're going to head to, I think, Nightbridge. Nightbridge Hopefully, yeah. I can take uh, Royal, I mean, African Tigers. Royal African Tigers. <laughs> Royal, yeah, Royal African, African Tigers to <laughs> one of the most popular uh, department stores in the world. Royal, uh, I mean, Harrod. Yeah. Everybody wants to shop or eat in Harrod. So I want to give her a taste of a British uh, a department store. Oh, we're going to have a coffee or tea or chocolate or maybe okay. a gift for one of you guys from oh, yeah. from, the, from, the, from royal i'm starting to check the titles it could be royal so I'll take for the royal for african tigress <laughs> tigress <laughs> let's continue yeah so now guys uh, we continue our journey we're heading to uh Nightbridge. we're going to harrods want to show the royal african tigress you know one of the most famous uh, department stores in the whole world harrods so i hope uh, you guys enjoy uh, this beautiful scenery of uh, this part of london i'm manifesting today yeah i feel like if others can do it yeah why not me you feel like royal today i can huh? do it too mm -hmm. <laughs> it's possible i'm royal without money though <laughs> <laughs> i always believe in this saying that uh -huh. anything is possible yeah, as far as you put enough determination and actually yeah and actually when you manifest something a lot and you manifest and think like a lot of things that i've not achieved much in this world but a lot of things that i've had or have happened to me sometimes even when i wasn't even like really it's just things like i was just manifesting do you but of course you manifest and pull exactly yeah. can you believe that one day you have more than 200,000 subscribers on youtube no because i was never popular i never thought I, it's something that can happen to me i wasn't a media girl i wasn't anything so this far i'm like happy i'm gratified yeah i'm going for more but i'm satisfied to be honest and also one thing I want to ask you, right? I want your honest view. Mm -hmm. Why do you think the whole world think Africa is poor? Uh, so that we can, you know, when someone tells you you can do this, yeah. they put that mindset on you, then you'll never be able to do it. Do you think that's why everybody think we are poor? I think so. It's because even some of us believe so because we've been told so over and over, over and over again. That we can't do it. So you become what? Wow. That's what you're consuming. Wow, guys, can you believe that? So we need to start changing our mindset. Yeah. When somebody say you can't do it, you need to prove them wrong by doing it. Amazing. Well, I'm enjoying my time with the Royal African... <laughs> the Royal African Tiger. <laughs> with the African Tiger. <laughs> Amazing there, guys. Please consider liking her video. Subscribe to her channel if you're watching uh, from London, Africa, USA, whatever you're watching from, make sure you go and check her amazing content from Ghana, Asia, yeah. London, all over the world. All over the world. Oh, this is a popular street, though. Yeah. Oh, I was told this is a shopping street. Yeah, it's a and shopping street. Only like designer shops here. And uh, who is ready to see Harrods? Me. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go see Harrods. Oh. Well, I'll show you the front. Yeah. Yeah, this Harrods. Yeah. Let's let's get closer and, and change. Look. Oh wow! So all designer shops. And then when yeah. we finish, we walk down and you see more of a luxury. All right. Yeah. So let's see Ted Baker, Diesel, Charming. Basically, all the way. This shop. the whole place here. This building is Harrods. It's huge. Oh, the building. Yeah. Oh. Guys, you are witnessing most iconic department store in the whole world this is a harrods see. and then down there that building you can see there that's mandarin oriental oh. one of the most expensive hotels in the world and that end yeah that end we'll get there right Right, let's go in guys uh, we're walking into harrods i'm not sure if they are allowed to film but i'll try my best yeah. <laughs> that's gucci my favorite brand oh, you love gucci? oh look i'm wearing one right now <laughs> yeah okay 
Oh, this is where all the rich people can spend their money. So the rich people from Knightbridge, Hyde Park, Kensington, this is where they spend the pennies. So if you want to buy somebody a gift, okay. like your mom, a surprise today, you guys see here, get, you have it in a Harrods bag. Oh, if you, if you buy it? Yeah, they give you a Harrods bag. Oh. Yeah. So, is this a food court? No. Pardon? What's the coffee? Oh, the coffee is in the food court, that one there. So we are actually uh, trying to get to the food court so we can have some coffee or some tea or champagne. Do you fancy champagne? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> champagne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we are in the food court right now. So we're just going to find somewhere to sit and have a, a glass of fizz. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the feet. <laughs> wow. So yeah, let's let's go on there. Oh yeah. Look at the fish. Oh ah, yeah. <laughs> That's a Harrah champagne. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's what we're having a drink. Oh, so we're gonna have a coffee. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll find a table. Let me ask him. Okay. So I'll do a latte and uh, a croissant. Croissant. Yeah. Croissant. French croissant. Is it croissant? Croissant? Croissant. <laughs> what is it? Croissant. Croissant, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And a latte. And a cafe latte. Yeah. Were you any pastry, sir, or anything? No, I'm okay for now. Is that right? Yeah. You want to share the croissant? Or no, no, I'm okay. Thank okay, you. Okay, 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 okay. Instead of latte, make it cappuccino instead. Cappuccino. Okay. Oh, thank you. She's changing your mind. <laughs> croissant. No, I'm waiting for. Oh yeah, croissant. that's a latte, yeah. This is my latte. Okay. <laughs> Where? You like Hakka, yeah? The parties. The parties are wild, right? <laughs> it's crazy parties. The parties are good. <laughs> so, I want to ask you something. So, you know, people don't think YouTube is a profession. If somebody's watching you, like, they might probably be like a role model. You could, if you're giving advice to. Uh, African young girl, somebody who really want to do this but they lack motivation. What will you tell them? It could be a, a girl or a guy, they lack motivation. What will you tell them today? Uh, what do you mean? Motivation or they are afraid to start? They are afraid I mean, to start really from want somewhere. To do this, you yeah. can do it because it means you are like, internally motivated. Yeah. However, even me when I started, I look at my first videos of which I made most of them private, like 13 videos. I cringe. They were like, ew. I didn't even know what I sounded like on camera. You don't want to watch it. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm sounding, oh, this is my voice. So this is what I sound like. Some of us are not used to listening. In fact, in the past, you could not listen to my video or watch my video and being next there. Like, I don't want to hear myself. And I think a lot of people face that. But over time, you just get used to it. Anyway, anything and everything is just consistency in this world. Just be consistent and do it. You can actually, this, you can do, you can do good. You can make good money. Like, you can like, make really good money here. All right, so guys, so we just finished here, uh, Harrods now. We're heading to Belgravia. Uh, I just want to show African Tigers uh, another Porsche environment, uh, which is in Chelsea, Belgravia. So guys, let's get there. Shop. Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chloe, Celine, Lo, Tiffany, Clarence, Estee Lauder, <laughs> so, skincare, the Fendi. What's your favorite brand? I don't, I don't want this. African Tigress. 610. Yeah, that would look good on it. Yeah, you can try it. I like this one. Yeah, yeah, I saw you. Yeah. How much is that one? This one, let me see. This one, I really like it. 
Now we're heading out of uh, Harrods, uh, walking down to one of the most popular uh, steak restaurants. Uh, this guy used to own a restaurant in uh, in Dubai. Is yeah, that one, the, the, the guy. The salt guy. Yeah, the salt oh, guy. So we're going to his restaurant. restaurant yeah. Do you want to see it? Oh yeah. Let's go see the salt uh, salt guy restaurant. So guys, uh, this is the, the amazing, the amazing um, Harrods. Uh, just before we continue. Oh, I think it's on yeah. I think it's down the road somewhere there. Designed the new British, the British uh, uh, Airways uniform. uniform yeah. 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 And it was the very first tailor ever in the world. <laughs> I remember he designed a Michael Jackson. Uh, I think the trailer when he performed the trailer in. Uh, I know. <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> Two adjustments. Jay hey. adjustments. Us. We came from uh, Harrods and uh, we just uh, met uh, somebody. Somebody's uh, shopping, I guess. Yeah. Who is shopping? Don't spend all the money. <laughs> all right. See you. See you later. All right. Okay. 